the reverse tension process of pre-stressed anchorage device. Measure and set out according to design requirement. Identify initially the position of anchorage device and the length of carbon fiber plate. Detach to avoid steel bar and locate the drilling holes. Drill holes, polish, repair and level concrete bonding surface. Then, plan anchor bolts. Install the clamping fixture and the carbon fiber plate in dry and flat area. Apply carbon fiber plate adhesive evenly in the channel of the clamping fixture. Put a carbon fiber plate in the channel of the clamping fixture. Tighten cover screw manually. Keep and wait for curing. Install the stationary plate. Insert the centric sleeves and make adjustment. To make sure all the anchors bear shear force at the same time and all components are on the same axis, apply pressure by the torque wrench to tighten the screws of the clamping fixture again. Push the clamping fixture into the track groove of the stationary part. Keep distance within 10 cm between fixed end and the bridge pier. Install the tension device. Keep a distance between the end of the tension side and the bridge pier within 20 cm. Screw the pulling rod for fixing into the clamping fixture. Install thrust plate, fixed and lock it. Then, insert into the corresponding stationary plate. Insert the jack. Put tension to 20 kN to 30 kN. Lock the anchor nuts at the two ends of stationary plate after unloading. Meanwhile, apply carbon fiber adhesive on carbon fiber plate. Then low for tension gradually. Keep two to three minutes break from one tension step to next one. Tighten the pulling rod nut after tension loaded. Dismantle the jack and tension device. Remove extra adhesive and install carbon fiber plate strip. Coat the anti-corrosion layer. At last, install the protective cover on both ends of the anchorage device. Nanjing Man Car Pre-Stress Reinforcement System. Coexistence of quality and economy.